Hello, reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Paradigm Worlds. Now, this is something that one of you recommended to me a few days ago, actually, and I've only now just had an opportunity to try it out. I have not actually gone into the game just yet because apparently this is very, very... Well, I, I don't even know what kind of word to use to describe it. I guess we should just go in and see, but this is apparently a mashup between huge amounts of different things and uh, it, choices made here will have more significance than in the vanilla game, however there are no good or bad choices. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Well, if you want to read all of this, then you can very, very easily do that. I, there is a rush option, I don't know what that means, I'm probably not going to do that right now because I'd like to see some of the character creation and things like that, but, yes, yeah, as you can see, there's <laughs> evil creatures, and oh my, yeah, you do actually get to choose if you are an alien. I think we're probably going to choose to be an alien, aren't we? Or a, a genie? Oh, no, I, I, I think we can't throw the lamp at the spaceship. The lamp is not going to do anything to the spaceship, so I suppose an alien will be absolutely fine. There we go. Now, <laughs> this, could, this could very easily become very, very hilarious very, very quickly, because an alien being a shall we say, traveling merchant. I suppose that does work. A famous pirate, that also does work. Okay, well, what about a heretic cultist? Let's do that. Why not? And what else do we want to go for here? So, yes, you spent your early life as a wild child. Oh, yes, very much so. Let's do that. No. Um, oh, my. Okay, a revolutionist? Cannibal? Uh, let's do a revolutionist. Why not? And, wow, there's just so many different choices here. Oh, wow, there's even, there's even more here. Okay, so then as a young adult, you became a personal escort. Hmm, yes, I, I would like that. Anyway, let's, <laughs> I think we'll just go for, hmm, an alchemist. A very important person. Scavenger of alien parts from another dimension. Let's do that instead. That sounds good to me. Okay, now this is, oh, this is a little bit, oh my, this is a little bit weird. Okay, so... Ah, all right. You managed to start as any one of these things. But it it costs clicks? I actually have no idea what clicks are. Maybe the, the currency or something? I don't know. But I, I, I don't know. The commander? A rebel pirate hunter? I, a cult leader? Cult leader sounds relatively fun, I suppose. So, uh, I mean, you can start from zero, the hardest to start, worst inventory, but good character abilities bonus. No idea what that means either, but I guess we'll find out. It, this is partially the reason why I didn't want to actually start this up first. Let's do a cult leader, why not? You start as leader of a doomsday cult, a prophet to be precise. You'll be the lord of a single city. Oh, oh, very nice. As a cult leader, you have a lot of renown. Cultists are hated in the paradigm world. Oh, that's not very good. You have killed innocent people. Oh, that's good. And you lost some honor. That's not so good. Oh, well. Anyway, let's go and see what we can do here. Oh, yes. We have already advanced to level 11 and have 30. Oh, yes. 30. 3 zero skill points. That's pretty amazing. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I think I'm probably just going to go for a heavy intelligence build for this because usually I'm not very good at fighting in these kinds of things. And this is actually a pretty standard and nice balance, actually, of our attributes. So let's go for some leadership here and I guess we'll go for some slave training as well but it's not really going to make too much difference if we are the leader of a cult then no doubt we are very very rich you know because they they don't get taxed do they no they don't get taxed those cults uh, anyway let's see what we can do here are we gonna go for some mm, yes first aid thank you very much yes the cult knows the first aid thank you and we'll go for some pathfinding as well wow I can actually just spam this very easily Oh, uh, well, what, what else? Power strike? Power throw? We actually do have power throw. Well, that's kind of hilarious in itself. Okay, I guess we're just going to go for some more iron flesh, more power strike, just to make sure that we're at least a little bit good. And maybe we should go for some bows as well, in case we're going to use an archery thingy. Yes, an archery thingy. Of course. Oh, persuasion is five. Of course, persuasion is five. Well, anyway, let's just spend the rest of the points in the medicinal skills, and that will be absolutely fine. So I'm going to, it's going to have to be cultist leader Jeff, hasn't it? Because really, he is he is probably the most persuasive person I know. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Here. Magic energy weapons? Oh my. Okay, so you can actually use energy weapons of sorts. I would assume that there are lightsabers. Probably. 
maybe. <laughs> I do know that there's some weird, weird sort of mashup things going on here. We have huge amounts of weapon points as well, so I suppose that's pretty reasonable. And yes, if we can just come on, there we go. Oh, spending all those points is very, very annoying. Oh, we're very beautiful, aren't we? Oh yes. Look at that. We are looking exceptionally beautiful. Okay, well, let's randomize it a little bit and see what we can. <laughs> see what we, oh, that, that, there we go. Let's go with that. I think that's that. That seems pretty. That seems pretty reasonable. What about what about the hair? Okay, let's go for. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Let's just go with that. And now, now we get to choose where we start. No idea what what this means. We are. Te are we an alien? Yeah, we are an alien. So we're an alien cultist leader. And I suppose we should probably start. There's an actual sanitarium conspiracy. Okay, an alien shogunate. Okay, well, I suppose I'm going to join the alien shogunate because we are an alien. And <laughs> we do have cultist fanatics helping us, which is actually quite nice. Now, what do I have here? I actually have something. Is that a gun? That is a gun. Oh, very nice. The bandit was almost immediately killed by one of our... <laughs> <laughs> by one of our cultist assassins. Did you see that? Did you see that ragdoll back there? Mm-hmm, yes. I think we might actually be seeing a little bit more of that. So let's have a look. And We've always had brigands in the hills. His his brother's gone missing. Oh, my. Oh, yes. What a, what a terrible, terrible dilemma to have. Okay, so we are cultist leader Jeff. And we have some cultist fanatics and assassins under our command. Now... Where is player supporters? Spy Academy. Okay, so is that is that my that's my town, isn't it? That is my town because we are green technically. And <laughs> okay, so the cultist fanatics can level up into cultist assassins and prophets. So that's rather nice. What do we have here? We have a strange pistol which deals extreme damage, and we also have a Moloch aristocracy robe as well as an alien pirate supervision glasses. Yeah. We look actually very cool in my opinion. Okay, so there is a revolver as well as a scarf if I wanted to wear that instead. We could, you know, do all kinds of things. Now, if you are already just blown away by this mod, then I'd highly recommend checking it out. There is a link in the description to download it. Strange ammunition. Should I use that? I wait a minute. Isn't that a isn't that a Molotov cocktail or something? <laughs> it looks like that. I, should I just put it on just to see whether that does something instead of our heavy quarter stuff? Because that's kind of pointless in my opinion. What's this? Baked human flesh. Well, I like that. That's very that's very tasty. That is very, very tasty. Anyway, let's go and see. What, what 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 was that? Oh, I don't even know what I did there. Okay, I didn't realize that something was going to come up immediately. Okay, oh, it was just our new minister. Okay, so cultist leader Jeff's paradigm. Oh, okay, no, we've got to call him well, something. Uh, what about, hmm, what would be the name of your paradigm? What about the Jeffite regime or something? Was something along those lines. Yes, why not? Let's do that. I don't know what that's going to do. Does it add anything? No, no, it just it just gives us that. So it gives us a faction already, which is actually really nice. And is there anything else I can do? Well, obviously I'm going to be fighting a couple of things, but oh, I should have fought those looters. There were looters very, very close by to Mal Tal. I probably should have fought those immediately. A skeleton horde with skeleton knights, dread knights, and liches. Oh, well, that's that's very pleasant, isn't it? I probably don't want to be fighting those. Now, do bear in mind that this mod incorporates the Doomsday Clock. As you can see, the clock has ticked 187 times. Each click means... Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to look at the, the recent messages. Means more and more powerful armies of common villains and secretive cultists. So every single party in the game, every single day gets just that little bit more difficult. So you're going to have to be a little bit careful about that. And now we do have a chance to choose our banner. So that's rather nice. Well, there's Morlock. Obviously, that, that is technically our race. There's also Morlock there. Well, technically our alien race, I suppose. Let's just take a look at some of the others just to see the kind of diversity we're going to be finding here. Actually, a huge amount. Death to all non-humans. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of death very very soon. Ah, uh, okay. Is there anything else here? There is actually a lot. 
There's actually a lot of very, very cool banners. Okay, so I'm going to just choose one of the Moloch ones. I'm going to choose that one, I think. Seems pretty reasonable. And who's that? Doomsday Cultists. Yeah, I probably don't want to be fighting those. 4.7? We're traveling at 8. There's no way they can actually do anything here. So, whoa, there's huge amounts of messages do going on here. Okay, so train troops for that much experience. Okay, well, there's a lot of reporting going. Oh, looters, hello. Come back here. I want to I want to fight you. Okay, so there's a number of different things here. Oh my, a number of different kind of options that we get here. You look hungry and your gear has had better times. Here, take these 5,000 dinars and prepare yourselves to du uh, for duty for real. Well, I don't know what that means. Maybe offering them to join us or something, maybe? Ah, well. Just your gear, valuables, and heads. After your death, we'll pay your families a visit and slaughter them all. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. You gained one renown, but we lost relation. So I suppose that's a pretty reasonable way of gaining renown, at least a little bit. I wonder whether you can abuse that a little and actually tell them that you want to kill them and then leave and then tell them you want to kill them again. And maybe that's going to then give you another one renown. That might be actually kind of a, a way to, you know, advance a little bit there. So, okay, so come on, cultists, you have crossbows. Oh my, they're actually very good. Okay, so I really wish I had chosen something a little bit better now, like horse archery or whatever it might be that the equivalent of that is, because as you can see, I'm absolutely terrible with this because, oh, there we go, I actually did kill someone. Come on, Jeff, you can do a lot better than that. There we are. This is a semi-automatic pistol, if you didn't already know, so that's... <laughs> Oh, yeah, the ragdolls are having a good old fun time there, as you can see. They're just partying out. And can we kill that last one? Come on. Yep, there we go. Is he, is he going to go funny? Yep, there he goes. Yes. That's what we like to see, isn't it? He's having a fun time. Can you... Okay, well, I, I like it when our meals have a bit of a dance before we eat them, so I suppose that's fine. Anyway, let's see. One morale and not much anything else. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And, yeah, is there anything else here I can take? Well, we have an elite scimitar right now, which is actually pretty decent, a weapon. Don't really need anything else. Now, do bear in mind that <laughs> our army has literally just taken 3,000 wages from us, and I think we're probably going to be in debt almost immediately, but I'd like to obviously just take a look and see what's going on at the Spy Academy and see if there's anything I can do there, because obviously I do have a guild master, and I can manage the town, as you can see here, we can build a number of improvements, you can build a brothel, and you can build a doomsday, Ketela cult, temple, old, go old gods, temple, and all that kind of thing, and I suppose if we, ah, oh, well, maybe we can, you know, maybe we can do that, that might be quite nice, can, do I have enough money for this? 55,000, but what does this do? Look at this, this is what it does. Okay, so it moves forward the Doomsday Clock seven plus clicks every month, but you get a lot of cultists to reinforce the town's party. You also improve relations with the cult, 10 points per month, and, you know, you get fresh cultist recruits. Okay, so as the party member with the highest skill, yeah, yes, yeah, okay, I obviously don't, I don't know I have enough for that. There's also this. Ah, oh, right, okay, so if I go into the garrison here, there is a huge amount of of cultist units and I think what we're gonna do can I just aha okay so as soon as I put in the f wait wait a minute are the fanatics why am I spending ah okay I'm spending so much because obviously the garrison is costing me a lot so I'm gonna just take 10 profits and I'm gonna take a couple of assassins 10 assassins as well just run around with a pretty small force I don't want to get too many and let's go into the tavern because I'd like to see what's going on here a uh, hello, a T11 cyborg. That actually looks mighty cool. That does look mighty cool. It reminds me of the Borg, actually, which is kind of amazing. And then we have a <laughs> bare-chested man with helmet. Yes. And then we have alien slash Twi'lek slash Japanese warrior person. Okay, well... I never said this was going to be understandable, did I? Anyway, let's go and speak to the guildmaster, see if there's a... Uh, do you have a job? To take his cattle. Okay, I can take the cattle, but... Is it a pushing one? I hope it's not pushing. Okay, so who's that? 
Old God Crusaders. It is pushing. They don't have the mod. They don't have the mod that enables the cattle herd to be... <laughs> to be, you know, what is it? For, for them to follow. So that's... Oh my. Okay. Guildmaster uh, to Marauder. Where's Marauder? Where is that? Oh, that is... That is that is very far, isn't it? That is very, very far away. Where is that? I don't even know. Well, I can't see it. It must be all the way over here. Mustn't it? Oh, wow. It's 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 a lot further than I even thought. Wait, up oh, there it is. Okay, so it's technically in Vagia lands, old Vagia lands. What it where is it now? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Okay, what about this? The Fantasy Magiocracy. Okay, is there any other lands that I am missing here? Because I've missed them before in other mods. No, it seems like it is just the native map, which is perfectly fine, because everything else is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, I guess the only thing I can do now is probably just go and speak to... Wait a minute. It's five men in Mao Tao, isn't it? Well, I don't really... See the, see the necessity to actually do that quest, unless it, unless it gives us a huge amount of money. I mean, it obviously didn't just now, the, the cattle quest, so, yeah. Alright, okay, so let's, let's recruit these guys, and they are conspiracy paranoia recruits. Alright, so, technically, we have started in the area where the sanitarium conspiracy is, and they are the units that we're able to recruit. That's exactly the reason why you want to get 55,000 dinars and obviously build that, what is it, that cultist, you know, old, not the old god temple, but the other one. Yeah, that's probably the reason why you probably want to do that. Now, I am unsure how I'm going to get that much money, so I suppose what I can do, actually, is I'm just going to go over to the Spy Academy real quick, and we're going to try and make a bunch of money, so... Let's just put these recruits back in here, because they're kind of meh. They're not really going to do much. But these assassins are very much going to. So let's see if I can just get these as well. There we go. So we have 70 in our army now, and we should be able to take on this skeleton horde. Or not, as the case may be. I'm actually unsure. They are running from us, though. So that must mean that they are a bit scared, which is actually kind of nice. So let's do this. Okay, so we gain one renown. Oh, we have reduced our relation with the undead by five, but that was bound to happen at some point. I really wish I had some, what is it, mobile shooter skill. I think that would have actually been quite logical to get, but I didn't think that I was going to be getting a horse. But <laughs> I really like how we look, actually. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we have a huge amount of cultist assassins, and oh, these guys have horses. Well, that's not good. They do have horses, but that's fine, because I'm able to shoot them, and they hopefully are going to die very quickly. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Take that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and we have, we have advanced to level 12. Okay, so I'm actually just going to go and get a mobile a piece of mobile shooter skill. Wait a minute. I think we actually just gained two skill points per level. That's actually rather nice. Okay, so let's go for another point in intelligence. I'm going to go for another point in mobile shooter and make sure that we can actually shoot people while we're moving a little bit more. And let's try and shoot that guy if we can. There we go. We can shoot his horse a little bit, unfortunately. Come on. Can you actually kill him, please? There we go. We did actually deal some damage. Ooh, there's a huge amount of them. Okay, so... <laughs> Ooh, this was not good. Okay, so I'm going to just try and shoot these guys as much as I can. Look at that guy. What is he doing? I don't even know. Oh, well, my horse is dead. But maybe I could shoot these guys. Yeah, there we go. I could shoot them a little bit. I'm Ooh, they've got unique sounds, too. Look at the unique sounds that Cultus leader Jeff has. Oh, well, he well, he's he's kind of he's kind of having a bit of a fun time there, isn't he? Okay, well, yeah. So, how are we doing? Are we doing okay? Yeah, the main reason why we're not doing so well is because they have the high ground and well, that kind of made a big difference, especially <laughs> especially everyone dancing around and everything. But yeah, there we have it. There's a little bit of a preliminary look at Paradigm Native, and this is obviously going to be the first part, and if you want to see another one, then we'll take a look at more of the advanced functions like the Siege mechanics, as well as some of the higher tier units, and what exactly all of the town, you know, town, what is it, town management options are, and let's actually see what happens when we get taken prisoner here, because it would be quite nice to see where they take us.
Yes, I did fail to move the cattle, thank goodness, really. Ah, uh, absolutely terrible. Okay, so yeah, that's absolutely fine. Did they take anything from me? No, they took absolutely nothing. So yeah, I can just start again, because technically I haven't lost anything, because, you know, all of our units are in our town. So yeah, we're going to try a, a couple more of those town management things in the next episode, if you want to see more. And if you do want to see more, then you know what to do. Hit that button and all kinds of buttons and, you know, comment and all that stuff. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.